Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You know, I never thought I'd say this again, but I am looking forward to the next version of Windows. In playing with Windows 7 on both my HP Touch Smart PC and inside of VMware Fusion, which is what I have running here on my Mac OS X desktop, I've discovered a few features that are going to prove extremely useful uh, when I am inside of Windows 7. And I think you are also going to fall in love with these features, uh, specifically the one I wanted to highlight right now. Uh, this is uh, mind-blowing uh, in terms of well what it is and how it does what it does. So let's say you're trying to troubleshoot a problem on somebody else's computer and you can't see their screen and you're trying to walk them through a step and you're trying to figure out what exactly they're doing and they're trying to explain what they're doing and you can't really get in front of the screen and you can't see what's going on. Well inside of Windows 7 there is a tool that, okay so let me just demonstrate it for you I'm going to go to the start menu and I'm going to type in record steps and of course the search feature automatically calculates and says here's what you're looking for right there the number one result record steps to reproduce a problem that's what I want it opens up this little app I'm going to zoom in here it says problem steps recorder <clears throat> get this okay so we're going to zoom out and let's say i'm having a problem on a web page but i can't explain exactly what's going on so i press and all right i tell the other person press start record press that button and now i launch into say internet explorer go to live.perillo.com which is already in my history looks like the topics windows 7 Okay, so now it's asking me if I want to download a file. And now it's prompting me here, this file download. I don't know what this is, tflash.php. This is a bug. Apparently this is a, a bug that we have to kind of fix. Let me hit refresh to see if that fixed it. No, it did not. Apparently my site is insecure or unsecure. I'm insecure. Okay, so let's say I've gotten that far to explain, well, this is the problem that I'm having. So then I say, press stop record. Now, what happens is a dialog pops up prompting me to save this file. I'm going to save it to the desktop as, let's just call it a problem with live. Save. Now, it saves it as a zip file. And you could then have that user send that zip file to you, email it or whatever, upload it, whatever they want to do. Inside that zip file is an MHT. It's essentially an all-in-one document, HTML and images in one file. So we're going to extract that, double-click it, it'll open up an Internet Explorer, and check this out. Recorded problem steps. Review the recorded problem steps. Review the recorded problem steps as a slideshow or review the additional details. No joke. What I did there was essentially created a, a screenshots as well as details for what the user was doing, or me being the user, inside of one document. So I'm able to see right there, there's the error message that I saw, and I clicked that window to highlight that was the problem that I was having. <laughs> very, very, very cool. Oh, uh, This is like, if, if there is a number one feature inside of Windows 7, it's the Problem Steps Recorder. So well, I can scroll back up and review the recorded steps as a uh, slideshow, and then it just flips between uh, um, screenshot to screenshot. Uh, yeah, I am impressed. And, and uh, if you're not impressed with that, uh, either you've never had to uh, deal with a problem remotely or try to explain a problem uh, in you know, having to talk someone through something that you know would be easier to show them. Well, if you get a, a blue screen of death, uh, there's not really, you grab your digital camera in that case. That's, that's what you handle, uh, you know, if, if, if that happens. You, you can handle it that way. So if you are looking for a way to view uh, an MHT file, I believe there's a Firefox extension, although it doesn't work with the latest beta of Firefox. I don't know how to view MHT files on OS X, at least for free. 
it's uh, you know easily viewed inside of Windows, of course. Um, maybe uh, someone has a suggestion, and I'm sure software will start cropping up, especially as uh, these uh, files get spread around. It's kind of a I, I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for basic screencasting. It really is for sharing problems uh, with you know people that could potentially help you uh, through those problems, finding the solutions. Uh, really, uh, just I, I'm blown away. I mean, this is software that I would expect to pay for, but the fact that it's going to come bundled with Windows, awesome. This, this is an evolution. Okay, this is good. And I hope to see more features and more tools just like that coming from Microsoft, specifically in Windows 7. Now, maybe uh, you've been testing uh, Windows 7 as well, build uh, 7000, you know, as it's in beta at this point. You've got some tips and tricks to pass along. Feel free to do so. My email address is chris at perillo.com. You know I'm a software geek and I'm a little hoarse right now. <clears throat> <clears throat> I was jumping up and down uh, right before recording this video, just screaming, so excited to see something like this. It's really kind of cool. Uh, anyway, uh, you're welcome to stop by our community of geeks, uh, which, of course, uh, is full of <clears throat> geeks of all types. Uh, people who use Macs, people who use Windows, uh, people who use uh, Linux. We're all kinds of geeks there at geeks.perillo.com, and, and we're also... Uh, quite a uh, diverse bunch in the chat room, which is a part of this live video experience, which can be found streaming out over the web 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.